Mississippi Beer Reviews, Abita, Andy, Gator. I've actually been wanting to try this beer for a while. Not a big fan of uh, Abita. And it's not because, I mean, they make crappy beer. I'm just uh, not a fan of a lot of their stuff. I really didn't like that Turbo Dog. But anyway, I've, I've actually heard some good stuff about the uh, Andy Gator. It's a Hellas uh, Doppelbach. It is 8% alcohol, so yeah, this will ring your head the next day. Andy Gator is a fearsome beast. Don't let his toothy grin, slightly sweet flavor, and subtle fruit aroma fool you. This cold-blooded creature, this cold-blooded creature is a hellish double bock that can sneak up on you. Sip, don't gulp, and taste the wild of a beta Andy Gator. Yeah, that is a, uh, a southern sentence if I've ever heard one. I believe this comes from uh, Beta Springs, Louisiana. If I'm wrong about that, Louisiana Beer Reviews will correct me, I'm sure. Anyway, 12 fluid ounces. There you go. I've been wanting to try this for a while. Yeah, that's one thing I always loved about, uh, about Louisiana Beer Reviews. If I ever say something that's not right or something he'll he'll always leave a comment I'm always expecting every time I do a video Louisiana Beer Reviews always makes a comment well actually it comes from Canada or you know something like that I'm like hey thank you buddy <laughs> anyway here we go Miller Lite Pilsner glass I beat an Andy Gator and this actually comes from his neck of the woods I beat a Springs Louisiana I know he's in uh close to New Orleans I forget exactly uh, where he said that he was at uh, Laplace excuse me Laplace Louisiana anyway me and him was going to, have to get together and do a beer review one day most definitely I'm sure y'all would enjoy that anyway we have a thick loggery head and, you know, I actually don't know what a Doppelbach is, Doppelbeck, whatever it was. I really don't even know what that is. I'm really thinking this is just going to be, you know, malt liquor. A lot of these companies now are making malt liquors, and to make them sell, they're not putting malt liquor on the label. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. But I really have, I really am excited about this beer. I've been wanting to try it. Got a buddy of mine, he said this is his beer since it came out. He's been drinking it. Anyway, uh, yeah, nice thick lottery head. Some bubbles streaming up. I'd say, uh, you know, medium bubbles streaming up. It's got a clear, uh, maybe gold appearance. And the head is just a little bit off-white. Anyway, let's go with the smell. Picking up kind of a woody note, like an oak barrel type uh, smell. Not really picking up anything else. The uh, the smell is kind of faint, which is weird considering that it's eight percent alcohol. But I guarantee you, you drink enough of these at eight percent alcohol, it's gonna bang your head. I'm sure. I'm sure you will uh, do a lot of things that you normally wouldn't do. And my buddy that drinks this, usually when he does, he does. Anyway, let's go with the taste test. That's kind of kind of interesting. It's um, it's sweet like a malt liquor. You can taste the alcohol, but it's um, it's kind of hidden in there. 
as opposed to something like that down the Ice House Edge I reviewed to where it just tasted like straight up rubbing alcohol. This doesn't have that taste to it. It's kind of sweet. It's sweet. It's kind of fruity. Um, not sure if they're really using any adjunct. As sweet as it is, I would assume that there is some corn adjunct in here, but I could be wrong. Okay, the palate that it leaves on your tongue is sweet, grainy, alcohol type uh, type taste. It's really sweet, and I, me preferably, I don't like the whole sweet thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's not bad, you know, um, and especially at 8% alcohol, and it does a really good job of masking that alcohol. You know, I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go with a C. Excuse me, because I think it's average. I mean, um, you know, price-wise, sure. I mean, at eight percent alcohol and something that's decent to drink at eight percent alcohol, sure, I'll go with that. There's nothing wrong with this beer. This is actually probably. Um, the best thing that I've ever drank that Abita puts out. Anyway, I'm going to try it one more time just to be sure. Yep, yeah, that is a, um, you know, th that is a malt liquor, um, but it does have kind of a woody type profile to it. But yeah, you know, there's no other way around this. This is a malt liquor. I don't know what a Helly's Doppelbach is, but don't be confused by that stuff. It is a malt liquor. That's exactly what it is. No matter how much they try to disguise it, it's exactly what it is, guys. But I give it a C. It's not bad at all. I mean, it's average. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Later.